Hello. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about some of the grip stuff that we don't always talk about. We don't always break down the um, intricate mechanics of what's happening with our grip while we're playing. Um, and I talk a lot about letting the stick do the work. And I talk a lot about finding rebound um, and making it easy making it feel effortless. And so sometimes we have to break that down in order to get it. We can't always just do it and get it. So if you're curious about that uh, intricate stuff that I'm talking about of how do I get from A to B um, when everybody just makes it look so easy and they just do it, well, let's, let's talk about it. There's a couple ways um, that we're going to get that to happen easy and effortlessly. Now, uh, the first thing that I like to tell people is to imagine that the uh, stick, the tip of your stick, is a bouncy ball, right? Everybody remembers playing with bouncy balls. And if you throw it at the ground and just, like, let it fall, it's just going to slowly bounce smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and then just kind of end up rolling into a corner somewhere, right? So, <laughs> um, so practice treating your stick like a bouncy ball where you just drop it and find a balance point near the end, about you know two thirds or three quarters of the way to the end, where you can let it naturally bounce. Now, next step, see if you can count how many bounces you're getting out of your stick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, it kind of just goes faster and faster, you can't count it. But start to become aware of how many you're getting. The next step here is aim for three. Try to let your stick bounce, the tip of your stick bounce, three times, and then catch it. Okay, so we'll try one, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. Now I'm going to do this with my other hand. One, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. What we're going for here is the stick is the only thing doing the work. Your hand is not initiating three motions, one, two, three. You're not picking the stick up with your hands and your wrist. Uh, you're just letting the stick bounce after the first initial drop. So practice, if you need to go back and practice just this part where you drop it and your hand does nothing. Your hand does absolutely nothing. Your stick is responsible for all the rest of that sound that's happening. You see, my hand is no longer raising. Cool. All right. So now that you've tried uh, endless bounces, you've tried three, let's try two. to catch. One, two, catch. Remember your hand stays down and does not initiate the second tap. Great. Nice. So now we've gone endless three to two. Now let's try one. Let's try our single strokes. Now Keep that stick bouncy. Keep it flexible so that you're not so rigid, right, in, in throwing it down and kind of holding it. Um, let it bounce a little bit, but catch it. Keep it loose, right? Nice. What you might find naturally happening after all that practice bouncing is you're engaging your fingers on the catch. You're engaging your um, third finger, maybe, if we're going to call uh, the thumb and four, or the uh, thumb and index finger one and two, we'll call that your third one, your middle finger. You might be engaging that now to catch. That could be useful later on when you start to try to play faster single strokes, faster single stroke rolls, and you need that extra bit of pushback underneath to make your stick go a little bit faster. Okay? So um, you might notice keeping it loose, 
that you suck the stick back up into your palm almost naturally. You don't want to force it. Um, you definitely want to keep this thing light and easy. So let's go back to that bounce stroke. The double. I'm going to drop it and catch it after it bounces the second time. Let's put it into context. I talked about a five stroke roll. Um, and that five stroke roll is if we did um, right hand, left hand, and then tap once. So we've got a bounce, a bounce, and then a tap. That accounts for your five strokes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we don't want to play this one, two, three, four, five, where we're lifting up every time. That is going to get tiring, exhausting, and, and sound a little funny when we try to play it faster. So remember to keep, or keep your bounces bouncy. And practice it in the context of a five stroke roll so that you can practice playing these evenly. Practice leading off with your right hand, and then practice leading off with your left hand. And then let's try it up a little bit faster. If you feel like you've got those bounces and you want to increase your speed, try to increase your angle and dig into the pad a little bit more and even engage that middle finger now, sucking it back up into the palm and you'll notice your bounce is tighter, right? It's a little bit faster than in the beginning where it was so floppy. Now you're playing tudum versus tud dum. There's your tud dum, and then you've got tum. So you can really pull that back up in, increase your angle down into the drum head, and let's try a five stroke roll that way. And left hand lead. So um, if you ever get tripped up and you want to go back to the beginning, how do I go back to the basics on this? Right there. One motion. The stick does all the rest of the work. And shorten the bounces after that. So we'll go three. Catch, 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 catch. Resist the urge to play one, two, three. Right? Just play one and let the two, three be the stick. Now let's go to two, if you need to go slower, it's okay. Back to three, two, and then a little bit faster. So all that is really happening in this in this bounce stroke roll is right, left, right, left, right, left. It's no different than me playing this. The actual mechanics of my hands and wrists are the same. See how they're not changing? The only thing that changes um, is how you're pressing the stick into the head, how you're bouncing it. All right? So get comfortable bouncing. Um, really uh, also try to, um, for those faster bounces, engage the finger underneath to pull the stick back into the palm, but not so consciously that you are distracted by it. Um, uh, you definitely want to keep this natural. Um, and you don't want to force or tense your muscles in any unnatural, kind of uncomfortable way. If you feel any sort of cramping starting to happen in your palm, that might mean you're gripping it too hard, you're sucking it up into your palm too hard. Focus at that point then on just relaxation. 
and letting the stick bounce while still keeping that pressure in between the two fingers that you really need to keep the pressure in between your thumb and your index finger. Alright, great job.